Step number two, how do you paste your Google Docs link into Canvas? In other words, how do you turn in your work for this class, right? Now, remember that in step number one, we created the Google Doc. And then when we finished um, composing the Google Doc, whether it was your pre-lecture or your post-lecture assignment, what we did is we went up here to share and clicked on share. And that created this link unique to this document. So we highlighted it, copied it, clicked done. Now what we want to do is to paste this link into Canvas so that your instructor and your classmates can see your work. Remember, we're not creating a file and uploading the file like you would do with Microsoft Word. We're not using files. All we're using is links. So in this case, just as a for instance, let's say we're in, I don't know, week number 10. So click on week number 10. And remember that the first page is always preparation, uh, telling you what to do, what the essential question is. And click on next. And the second page for every week is always the discussion forum, where you're going to be turning in most of the work for this uh, class. So all you do is go down here to reply. Um, if you are posting your pre-lecture, click on reply, and that'll cr that will create this dialog box. And what you want to do is just paste your link into the dialog box. Now, here's a step that it's easy to forget, uh, but if you don't do it, the link won't work like it's supposed to. After you paste the link, what you need to do, don't forget this, just tap on your space bar. And by tapping on the space bar, you see how it changed colors? That makes the link live, okay? And then the last thing that you need to do is just click down a space and you need to um, label this assignment. So me and your classmates know immediately what this link will take us to. So why don't you put, for instance, in this case, if this was your pre-lecture, you would post in capital letters, you would type in capital letters, P-R-E, dash L E C T U R E. This is your pre lecture. You could put it in bold maybe. So now you've got your link, you've got your label and you just click reply, right? And so that creates the link with the label. And what happens is either me or your classmates can simply click on this link and opening in a new window is the document that you created earlier no need for files at all.